Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam and today we're um, back playing Minecraft. Now this is, we're t today we're playing Roguecraft, which I'll go through the description of it. Uh, I do, first of all, I do apologize if there's any lag during the video. If you take a look at the top left of my FPS, we're currently at 46 FPS. I'll take a, uh, show you my settings. Even at, at 8 render distance, Okay, 54, we're going up a little bit. Particles, minimal, everything is basically turned off. Graphics are fast. I have a bunch of mods that are for, like, performance, like entity calling, uh, entity calling, um, attribute fix, spark, let me despawn, clubs. All, even with all of these, like, different performance mods, it's still really low FPS. So, I'm doing my best here to try to, like, you know, run run this data pack but it is very slow sometimes so again if it does lag i do apologize my biggest worry is it crashing because it's already crashed multiple times but without further ado let's just get into it welcome to roguecraft a data pack that aims to turn minecraft into a roguelike game if you already know what a roguelite is feel free to skip to page four okay you're currently located in the tutorial, a part of the general hub of the data pack. The other lecterns will tell you about new additions and changes that the data pack makes. The information provided will be very useful, but it's not it's uh mostly not required for playing. The only exception are the crafting recipes located in the item frame above the first lectern on the left. You can return to the tutorial at any point. So if you'd rather go in blind, just take a screenshot of the recipes on the left. And step through the portal at the end of the room. Honestly, we'll probably just do that. So that's the. So those are the recipes. Uh, let's take a screenshot of that. Um, and yeah, the, we'll just. Uh, nah, we'll we'll just go in blind, I guess. I know what some of this stuff does already. So healer. Uh, gives nearby players regeneration, revives a player, okay. Uh, up armor upgrades increase strength, uh, ability trade health for strength, okay. Tank gives you extra health, ability, gain resistance 5 for how long? 10 seconds, okay. Um, mage increases mana regeneration, what's the ability? Gives you an additional ability item. So you don't actually have an ability straight up with that. It just okay. And then there's uh, defense, max health, speed, attack damage, and a bunch of other things. We'll get into them as I like start actually playing through. Oh my gosh, I'm lagging so hard. And then these are all the different abilities, and we'll get into those later on. So yep, yeah, let's just start the run. Hopefully, it's not gonna lag too badly. I really do apologize if it does. Oh, and yeah, so we have a difficulty level, which, you know, means that enemies do get stronger as time goes on. Efficiency zero, fortune zero, okay. Interesting. Not sure what that means, but, or what the point of that is, but, okay. Um... Just get get some coal. So does this? It seems like this pickaxe just doesn't break. Okay. Um. I mean, I guess we can at least make it. Um. Uh, interesting. Well, no sword either. Nope. Okay. Then I guess let's just... Let's at least get food. Oh, we got a skill pearl. 
And we can use that for a skill point. We need coal and copper. Okay. There's some copper down here. I guess we could just get right into the skill points thing then. I mean, why not? No idea what this is going to be like, but... Honestly, I think I have an idea. This is what I'm going to do instead. I'm going to use charcoal for smelting instead of regular coal. The reason is, the reason being, I want to obviously conserve my, um, my coal. Don't have an axe, which is really annoying. I would love to make an axe right now. I don't understand why I can't craft an axe. But whatever. Shit, when it comes to smelting and anything like that, we're gonna we're gonna use uh use charcoal. Maybe I need to like buy an axe or something. I'm not sure. There's also advancements. Uh Which I'm not reach a difficult level of art. Which I don't know if those give skill points, but I don't know. All I know is nighttime is gonna be a giant pain um finding some sheep would be nice see and i could have like added a bunch of bunch more mods to this but I felt like that wouldn't really be the right way to go with go about this. Jeez, that is actually very loud. I'm gonna turn that down a bit. I just didn't feel like that was the right way to go about it, so So do you do you gain um Yeah, so you gain one for your experience level, okay. So yeah, we need to find some, find some sheep. Sheep would be nice. Sheep would be really nice. So pigs, pigs would be good too. Do I even have, do I even have like hunger? Like does my hunger even go down? I, oh, I, I, I start with saturation, so it probably does go down. Just I can't see the saturation right now because I didn't add a mod for it. Because I was more focused on just trying to do performance mods so my game would stop crashing every time I loaded it up. Because yeah, my game just was constantly crashing. Come here, Mr. Piggy. Um, I'm a, I'm gonna have no way of getting back to my base. But okay, I can't even hit the chicken. There's nice 
big ravine right there. Be good for later. Oh my gosh. The lag is really killing me. The lag on top of my inability to actually aim. That's this is what's causing me problems here. Get some leather at least. Okay, so yeah, I do definitely have hunger. As you can see at the bottom right. Hunger bar is going down. So I will need a food source at some point in time. Very concerned about that difficulty level, though. I'm just going to try to take advantage of sheep. Not like that, okay? I don't mean it in that way. I don't mean... Okay. Never mind. Um... So yep, now enemies are going to be stronger. I'm pretty sure I, I was uh, watching a video of the developer who made this pack. And I'm pretty sure he said that the difficulty level increases the armor of the of the enemies. So difficulty level is, is of 1 means it's just base enemies. Difficulty level 2 means the enemies have like leather armor. Something like that. And then obviously everything after that just... Just gets insane. Things just get crazy. After that, so... Yeah, I guess we have stuff to look forward to in the future. <laughs> At least I'm going to be able to make a bed. Which is going to be nice. Still don't understand why I can't craft an axe, but whatever. So yeah, we will we can create a campfire. So now we have a way of cooking up food. Although do I even want to use the campfire? Because I don't get any experience. So maybe actually I it would be better to use yeah, you know what? I'm actually, for once in my life, I'm actually going to use a smoker. I don't usually use smokers, but... Actually, I can't even use a smoker, I don't think, can I? Because you need... Do you need strip logs, or do you, can you just use normal logs? I think you might just be able to use normal logs. Anyways. Yeah, let's make sure we get our bed going. Okay. Yep, you can make a smoker. Okay. It's been so long since I've actually, like I said, it's been so long since I've actually used a smoker and, like, made one. So I honestly was not sure if I could use logs or not. Which definitely says quite a bit about me and the way I play the game. Um, mainly just that I, I mean, I rarely use smokers and I usually just use campfires. So fish, I feel like fish would be a pretty easy source of both food and experience, right? We can make another one, another smoker. Gonna try to optimize everything basically. So we're gonna get a bunch of furnaces to smelt up some uh, some copper, and then we can get myself a skill point finally. Um, I 
Oh yeah, it also says I have access to two commands. In case something breaks, okay. So there's... Uh, see, I think it's a, a trigger to kill once everyone has entered the screen. Oh, okay, so it's just, there's just, okay. Okay, never mind, never mind. It's just for the stronghold and things like that. Okay. So yeah, we're going to try to avoid mobs at all costs. And just basically live out this way of doing it where I don't have to really worry about mobs too much. Which is going to be really nice if I can maintain that. If I can maintain this way of living, I would be really happy. But I highly doubt I will be able to. And eventually everything is going to come crashing down. And it's going to be very sad. But it's fine. Let's kill these squids. Squids? Okay, since when do squids make that sound? Okay, that is a very weird sound effect. Um, where are all the fish? Oh, there's some fish. Okay, there we go. Don't need the ink sacks, we just need the experience. Mostly the same for the fish, although the 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 salmon is gonna be pretty nice. Why it really feels like there's like no fish. I should have I should create a boat. Did they like reduce the fish spawn rates or something? Like this seems very low. Also, is it for like every so are, okay. I went into this blind, and that might have been a bad idea, because I'm not, now I'm not sure how things work, but... Okay, so gold would be very good later on. Let's, um... Uh... I mean, uh, let, I guess let's just get our first skill point. I finally have one skill point. Yay. One whole skill point, guys. I mean, I guess it's time to get mining then. Iron is going to be very necessary. Prefer preferably before things get too tough, I would like to get some iron. But at the same time, I'm going to need torches. Oh my gosh, an axe would be really nice. I just want an axe. Please give me an axe. There's no way of me getting an axe, but I just I want an axe really badly right now. Instead of having to just chop these trees with my bare fist. See, the nice thing is, right, once you spend your skill points, like, you, you, for the, for every run afterwards, you get to keep, like, the, the stuff. So honestly, right now, I might just, like, try to, um, like, go for a bunch of skill points and then restart and, and just do it that way. I think that's going to be my plan for this. Um, 
Because if you can't hold on to skill points, that's the only thing. It's like you can't hold on to skill points. Because as soon as you start a new run, your skill points reset. Um, but you can't, you keep the upgrades that you buy with the skill points. So, um, so yeah. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I have a good amount of food. I don't have a lot of torches, but I hopefully have enough for just this, you know, small little area. I need to be very careful about my health, though. Also, ooh, Lapis. Lapis gives a ton of experience. Imagine using like a, a Minecraft seed for this. So like you just you you find like a super broken Minecraft seed, you put that in and then and then you just go from there. That wouldn't be a bad idea though. Like why is that actually a good idea? Using the you uh, like playing rogue cla uh, rogue craft, but using the most broken seed out there or something, the most broken Minecraft seed. I wish I would would know what time it is. This isn't Lethal Company though. I'm honestly, I'm confused how the pickaxe works. Cause yeah, obviously it's a Oh my gosh, could I not even craft an iron pickaxe? Oh no. I don't think I can craft an iron pickaxe. I wasn't able to craft an axe. I doubt I'm going to be able to craft an iron pickaxe. Wait, so how do you get diamonds if you can't... Oh my gosh, I'm... I have... I have, I have more concerns now than I did originally. I am very worried about how this is gonna this run is gonna turn out. Just because I don't understand how anything works. But I I see at, on one hand I like it, but on the other hand I'm like, what do I do? <laughs> it's like I like the I like the unknown aspect of it. But it's like, at the same time, I don't know what to do. Um, so I'm like, I'm conflicted. I'm conflicted right now. I like it and I hate it at the same time. It's very, I'm a very confusing person. I think I'm just going to smelt up this little bit of iron that I have and I really wish I could craft an axe right now <laughs> what am I gonna do with a brush no I can't I can't craft I can't even I can't even craft another pickaxe even if I wanted to Huh? No man rats can pass this. What? What does that even mean? No amount of rest can pass this night. Huh? That? Okay. Please, please, please. I 
I can't. I can't. I can't do it. I can't get this. I can't get suit up. Wait, what if I do... I can't. <laughs> I can't. I, there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can craft. I can craft a bucket, but that's it. I can't even get... Can I get a shield? I can get a shield. Okay. But I don't... But... But no, I can't. Okay. Um. Okay, I have an idea. I didn't say it was a smart idea, but it is an idea. No idea if this would actually work, if mobs even will fall down here, but theoretically, this will work. Theoretically. I'm on hard mode, right? Yeah. Okay. Just making sure I didn't, like, set it to peaceful mode. I'm just not hearing any mob spawning, which I don't know if I should be happy about or if I... No amount can rest can pass this time. That's still the weirdest thing to me. Like, what do you even mean by that? What does that mean? No amount of rest can pass this night. That's... You know, I don't want to go, I don't, I, I really, I don't want to go up there. I don't know why, I just find it really eerie that I don't see any mobs. Like, maybe that's just me that, like, thinks that way right now, but it just seems super weird that there's literally no mobs. Like, there's nothing. Um. Okay. I don't know why I even bother trying to sleep. Um. I mean, I guess I'll just make a bunch more skill points. So yeah, we have a ton of copper. I just need more, um... I just need more, uh, coal. That's all I need right now is just more coal. So I guess we'll... Or do I just, or do I want to start over? Maybe I want to start over. I, could, I guess I could start over. Mm. 
I mean, without there being like any monsters, I mean, can I get eight skill points? I mean, that's that's a pretty good amount of skill points, actually. Okay, what's the command again? Trigger restart run. Let's see. Yeah, which means that it's technically possible to beat the data pack on your first run. Yeah. Well, we're just gonna... We're gonna do that. And we got, we get our skill points. Tools, every tools and sword. Okay. Honestly, I might go for fortune. Okay. Well, now we have one point. Uh, I don't know, is there anything we even want to get? Um, is there any, yeah, is there anything else? See, that doesn't have costs. I don't know how much they cost. Okay, I guess I'll just buy defense. Okay. Start another run. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. What in the world? Just, okay. So we have a wooden axe. Okay. I mean, I guess this will help a little bit. Ooh, some sheep. Yeah, I mean, at least we have a... At least we have a sword now. We have fortune on our pickaxe, which will be really good. Not too sure how I want to play this, though. No, get out of the way! Sheep! Sheep! Get out of the way! My gosh, that sheep just was like, Hey, what you doing? What you doing, man? He just really he wanted to be involved. Okay, I think going for the fortune is going to be the best option, um, because obviously with fortune you can mine up, um, if you mine up coal and stuff, then you'll get obviously more coal for it. You guys know how fortune works, I, I hope. Um... So I guess let's just get some some of those skill things early on. I mean, couldn't we, for the most part, just kind of farm skill points? I feel like you pretty much can. There's a zombie. Hello, good sir. Nice weather we're having today. Don't don't, don't you agree? Okay. Uh, 
Oh my gosh. See, the see, I'm not too worried about most mobs. But skeletons are going to be extremely difficult. At least until I get a shield. If I can get a shield, then I'm going to be happy. But until then, uh, things are going to be a little scary. But we got a lot of coal here, though. Yeah, this is a lot of coal that we're grabbing. We have 34 coal right now. And there's even more right here. Up to 37. So, I'm not sure if it's just the first night that you can sleep through. Or if it's maybe just the second night that you can't sleep through. But I feel like with this data pack, they probably would have made it so that it's like you can sleep through the first night, but every night after that you can't sleep through. Which would be very evil, but is honestly completely believable as something that they would do. I have so much coal. My gosh, I need more copper. I need copper right now. I'm just happy that my game hasn't crashed. I think it's because my driver was outdated. Because I updated my driver and now everything seems to be fine. Nope, 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 nope. Skeleton, 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 skeleton. Why did I go all the way up here? The cobblestone is down here. And I need cobblestone. Well, these things are, like, unbreakable, so in that sense, I don't have to worry too much, um, which is nice. At the same time, everything is going to be very much so a pain. Okay. Bunch of furnaces. Turn one of them into a smoker. Yeah, for the most part, we're just going to have a bunch of furnaces. And... I'm just gonna chop down some trees. Oh, having an axe. Having an axe feels so nice. And we're right next to a jungle biome as well. So that's gonna be really nice for, uh, for getting wood. Obviously jungle trees are absolutely massive. Like your mother. Sorry, that was so unnecessary. Um. <laughs> um. Jeez, how tall is this tree? This tree is taller than Shaq. This is crazy. Okay. Um. Okay. 
There's some wood right here. Let's grab it. Okay. What is always just like at the in these trees? It's always just like hidden, and it drives me crazy because the wood will be hidden. You think you got all of it? See right there. So you think you got all the wood, and then you cut down the rest of the tree, and there's just leaves still floating because there's just random logs hidden away that you didn't find the first time you you went through looking for logs. See, there's one right there. So while I like how big these trees are, they're also really annoying. They're really annoying. And annoying? What am I saying? Really annoying. I'm trying to say like obnoxious and annoying at the same time. So I'm just combining the words together. Okay, so we have that. Smelt up all that. Okay, we just gotta wait for it to become fully nighttime. We have an apple, so we have... Okay. Skeleton right there. Yeah, I'm just going to eat the apple. Um... Oh yeah, I will smelt up that. Oh yeah, and I also need a f furnace for um for copper. I'm gonna need more copper, but I think I'm gonna try to make a shield first. Before I go too far out looking and exploring. Because the shield is the only thing that's going to really keep me alive. And I'm not that great when it comes to using shields. Like obviously I know how a shield works. I'm not that stupid. But... Shield PvP, not my specialty. And all I have are five hearts. So. I need to be very careful. Yeah, this place just looks like a pain to try to explore. So I'm going to try to ignore, uh, ignore it. Jeez, I'm really just com trying to combine words today. Okay. Can do that.
thought I heard a skeleton. I think that was just the fire. Like the, the furnace, I should say. Oh, gosh. An Enderman would be a uh, real, real interesting to fight right now. No, don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me. I didn't look the Enderman in the eyes, right? I like scanned over his eyes. This copper! Huh? Interesting, okay. Okay, we have seven skill points now in total. So yeah, honestly, right now, all we're lacking right is, is copper. We just need more copper. Oh, jeez. I'm going to go over here. Because if they want to get to me, they have to go through the sun. And the only mobs willing to do that are creepers. Um, which are definitely going to be a worry, but we can at least mine over here without having to worry about... Um, like skeletons or zombies or anything like that. How long have I been recording? 48, 48 and a half minutes? Okay. Okay, we're gonna just try to. This part should also mostly be safe, but. A bit more risky. Those Endermen have me very concerned. Because if I look at them, then it's basically game over. Got a good amount of skill points, though. Um, how many skill points do we have? We have nine. After this, we should end up with ten. And I might go trying to explore and look for some fish. And, yeah, see, look how fast the... Interesting. Yeah, the ores are smelting way faster in this. So I guess ores, like, require, like, half the amount of fuel to actually smelt. That's kind of what it seems like. So yeah, the only thing that's keeping us back is the uh, 
um, are the skill things, the, these things, the, yeah, the skill pearls. So, I think I'm done here. And we're going to kind of pack up our things. Now that we've gotten enough ore, we're going to kind of just look around for animals. And then if it starts getting to be nighttime, then we're going to go underground and try to just survive the night. To 11. So we can get up to uh, 14 levels. Because we have f 4 copper. Or 4 copper. Uh, 16 copper. Which is enough for 4 more skill points if we get enough skill pearls for it. There's also. Yeah, like a little cave here. Okay. Didn't have anything. Had some coal, but we already have a lot of coal. So I'm not worried about that. The only thing we really want is copper or uh, experience. Those are the only things that we need. I think we see any copper in like the mountain side. I don't see any, at least. But... I think we should be good on that front. I'm just gonna dig into the side of the mountain, I think. No amount of rice can pass a night. Okay. So, yep. Yeah, it's... I mean, I guess we'll find out, but... It does seem like you can't pass the night. Um... But see, last time there wasn't any mobs, so maybe there's no mobs this time. Yep, I was wrong about that one. Definitely wrong about that. Saw a creeper and immediately was like, nope. I'm just going to head back. expand the area a little bit. Alright. Yeah, we're just gonna wait for it to become daytime. In the meantime, I guess we could smelt up this uh, raw beef that we have. Anything else? Uh, we have some... Actually, yeah, we do have some food. I wonder if you even need a smoker. Hold on. Does everything cook twice as fast? Nope, never mind. It's just the ores. It's just the ores that cook twice, like, cook.
cook twice as fast and require half as much uh, fuel. Which is actually extremely nice. Yeah, we have uh, we have that. And we're up to 12 skill points, so... Honestly, I think what I'm going to just pretty much keep doing is just increasing my, um, my tools. Keep getting better tools each run. And then just kind of go from there. I think that probably is the best way to go about it. Well, for mainly like adding fortune to my pickaxe, I think would be the better option. You know what? Because the, the only thing that I'm scared of are creepers. All I think I'm worried about are creepers. Or not creepers, what am I saying? Skeletons. Skeletons are the only thing that I'm worried about. So if I see a skeleton, I can just run the other direction. But like a zombie? Like a zombie is no problem. And if anything, it gives more experience now because um, because of the armor. The more armor and uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, the more armor a uh, mob has, like the stronger the armor, the more experience it, it gives when you kill it. So. So if we can just kind of like look for mobs, as long as it's not a skeleton, we're pretty much fine. Skele I mean, skeletons aren't like obviously impossible to kill, but when you only have five hearts, you... Oh. Yeah, when you only have five hearts, you kind of need to be careful. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Creepers are becoming a little bit scarier as well. Uh, mainly because that they can become charged. Is that a skeleton? No, that's just a... Okay, you know what? I'm going to play it safer. Oh, gosh.
Yeah, we're gonna play this. A, we're gonna play this really safe. I'm all out of. Yeah, see that guy. Uh, we're up to 15. 15 skill points. Pretty happy with that, I would say. Okay. 15 skill points. Yeah, I mean... I think we'll go for... Probably more fortune. Do I want to just go for, like, Fortune 4? I assume that's what it's going to give me, right? Just, like, Fortune 4? Um. Because, like, experience isn't that hard to come by. Especially early on. So, yeah. We're just going to go for, like, a bunch of Fortune. I think that's going to be it for today, honestly. I'm going to have to... I'll play this some more if you guys want to see that. Um. But, mine's um, out an area around you. You can break even unbreakable blocks. Ooh, that'd be bad. Um, levitate dirt walker? You can walk in midair. That's pretty cool. I'm just kind of going through some of these things before I end the video, but. Um, but yeah. Uh, ooh, haste! Oh, he used to be so good as well. Anyways, my name's Sam. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of uh, me playing Minecraft Roguecraft. Um, if you did, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. It means the world to me. It doesn't cost you guys anything. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys take care.